How well does Google know your brand? Think about this for a moment. Search is changing and it's changing quickly. Let me show you what I mean. Let me get my screen up. And as I do, think of someone you know who will find this video useful. If you agree with what I'm saying at the end of the video, go ahead and share it with this person. So search is changing quickly. Let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say you're a brand, you're a business looking for accounting software. You've come across Zoho Books, right? Someone's recommended it to you. Um, what do you do? You go ahead and Google them, right? Let's Google Zoho Books right now. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Zoho Books. Quite boring, isn't it? Notice it's quite plain. You have the recommendations on the left-hand side, which is great. In, they have site links, which is awesome for them. But notice on the right-hand side, it's quite empty. Let's check out a competitor of theirs. Let's check out FreshBooks. Big difference, right? Immediately, you see that this is a SERP that's actually a lot more appealing. Let's, let's compare them. Compare this to this. FreshBooks is a lot better. What is the difference here? The main difference? Ignore the sponsor, um, the, the paid ads, right? We're just focusing on organic for the time being. Although this is pretty good that they have their brand SERPs um, covered from a, from a paid search point of view. But let's just focus on organic. Notice they have what we call knowledge graph right here. And notice that Zoho books do not. Why is it that this is a lot more important to have these days than just to have organic listings on the left hand side? Here's why. I'm going to give you a couple of reasons. The more Google knows of you, as in who you are, what you do, and which audience you serve, the better they can recommend your offering to your targeted audience. And let's, let's not forget, your targeted audience are Google's audience. So if you want to attain Google's audience, you first have to appease Google. Now, the traditional way of having SEO carried out is changing big time. This knowledge graph is a lot more important than... Um, I would say then a lot of SEOs are, 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 are talking about these days, right? We tend to st stick with the traditional way of carrying out SEO with organic listings. The right-hand side is equally, if not more important. I would say, I would say it's more important. Here's why. Having a knowledge graph isn't just great because it's, shown in the SERPs, right, to your targeted audience, whoever's Googling you, looking for your brand. It indicates that Google understands you a lot better than they traditionally would do if you carried out traditional SEO. Traditional SEO focuses more on the left-hand side, right, what we call the recommendations. The right-hand side, the knowledge graph, are the facts about you. The more Google is able to understand th these facts about you, the better they can provide your entities, in this case, your brand, to your targeted audience. And you might be looking at this and saying, okay, this is great. I've heard SEOs talk about this before. It comes from Wikipedia. Wikipedia is not the answer. It's great having information pulled from Wikipedia. However, Wikipedia you do not own, you do not control. If you've ever looked into Wikipedia, you know, editing it as the brand yourself is against their guidelines, right? Doing so will have you uh, pretty much <laughs> whatever you create removed and potentially it could have, you could have your page removed from Wikipedia. Now, FreshBooks have their information coming from Wikipedia, which is, it's okay for now. You do not need Wikipedia to have this. In fact, I would suggest it's better. If I was Zoho Books, it's better to have this information away from Wikipedia, i.e. have the information come from your own entity. Your own entity being 
your website, specifically your page, a page on your website. It's a page that you'll control. And more importantly, it's information that you'll be providing to Google specifically for them to create a knowledge graph, not necessarily to grab a knowledge graph information from other sources. This right here is going to be the future of SEO. It's going to be an area that SEOs predominantly focus on in the coming years. Right now, SEOs are moving into entities. You may have heard of this phrase before. Keywords are more or less the past of SEO. If you're still focusing on keywords, if you still regard SEO as a practice that's all about keywords, rankings and links, you're missing a big piece of SEO, a more important piece, which is focusing on entities. Entities being either a place, person or thing, right? Entities are what you want to be focusing on, starting with the most important entity, your brand. Now, attaining or knowledge graph is within your control. There are three things you want to do specifically. Number one, you want to identify your entity home. Your entity home is a page on your website that Google uses as the point of fact. Looking at this example, the entity home for FreshBooks in this particular case is Wikipedia. It's pulling this information from Wikipedia. A better approach is to have this information on your website. So your own entity home. This will allow Google to always use your site as the point of authority. Number two, you want to ensure your message is clear and concise. Your message being who you are, what you do and which audience you serve. Now, if you browse around any brand that has a knowledge graph, you will see a common theme across all of them. Those three things I mentioned, who the brand is, what the brand does, and which audience the brand services or targets is very clear. This information is what Google uses to understand the entity. In this case, the brand. So you want to have this message on your entity home, specifically have the information on that page, right? Number three, you want to corroborate this information about your entity, your brand, across the web. What do I mean by across the web? Think of this approach, this third part, it's similar to link building. Essentially, you want this entity home to have links coming from other domains to that entity home, pointing to the entity home. Additionally, you want to point to those sites that link to your entity home. Doing so will allow you to have a self-confirming loop to Google. So when they visit your site, your entity home, they understand who you are, what you do, which audience you serve, and they're able to confirm this with the links you provide to Google. So you're teaching Google where to find this information about you. When Google visits the sites that you link to, they're able to see this confirmation of who you are, what you do, and which audience you serve. This way, they have a solid understanding of your brand, your entity. Now, you might be thinking, is this necessary? It absolutely is. It's not something you might want to do. It's something that's essential. If you're looking at your SEO and thinking you have a ranking problem, I'm betting you do not have a ranking problem. You have a visibility problem. If you want to improve your visibility, you will need to move away from keywords and more into optimizing your entities, beginning with your brand. Your brand is the most important entity within your domain. Similar to what FreshBooks have here, they own their brand SERPs. This is the type of brand SERP you want for your business, for all of your entities beginning with your brand. So three things you want to focus on. Number one, ensure your brand has an entity home specifically for your brand. Number two, have your message clear and concise who you are, what you do, which audience you serve. And three, have this information corroborated from your entity home to the size that link to the entity home. 
My name is Austin Esezabo. I am an SEO consultant with over a decade's experience in SEO. I'm now focusing specifically on brand SERP optimization. Like Jason Bernard said, Google is your new business card. Ensuring you have a business card that's more like this on Google, as opposed to this, like Zoho Books, is the future of SEO. Have a look at your brand on Google. If your brand isn't optimal, if it's more like Zoho Books rather than Fresh Books, this will be an area you want to focus on, brand SERP optimization. All right, I'll leave it there for now. If you like this video, go ahead and share it with someone who you know will find it useful. Take care. Bye for now.